I've heard that you're only six people away from knowing everyone. It seems odd to me. Millions of people all doing their own thing. to check up on me like I'm a teenager. Uh, there's nothing to be concerned about. I just overslept. Maybe a little. I don't know, a couple beers? Too well. Yeah, I'm getting up. Who can sleep with you acting like mom? You sound just like her. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting up, I swear. Getting in the shower. I can't miss another day of work. I 
if you really cared about me, you'd let me sleep. Okay, I'll call you. I'll, I'll call you later. Dinner at the Petersons at six tonight. Pick up flowers to take. Pick up flowers for Emma. No, scratch that. Um, pick up chocolate for Emma with flowers. And uh, call the accountant. Ah. Talk to Joe about the hose. Oh yeah, and uh, soccer practice for Gina this Saturday at um, 8 a.m. Check on that. Good morning, Mrs. Nguyen. Let's see, you were admitted last night for chest pains. Uh, your tests show no coronary blockage, no irregular heart rhythm, uh, symptoms, DC, HCM. Your blood test came out fine. Uh, Ma'am, I think you just had an old-fashioned case of heartburn. Do you have any questions? No speak English. Oh, well, I'll go get somebody to uh, explain that you're okay. Dr. Jacobs, Mary was looking for you. They're about to start the meeting. Look, uh, she doesn't understand English. Um, just explain to her that she's okay and she can go home. Hello? Yeah, yeah, so what's up? When? Well, look, call me as soon as you find out. I, I, I'll, look, I'll answer, I promise. I'll drop everything. Uh, look, uh, just call me, okay? Right, bye. So what's wrong with her? Who? Oh. Oh, it, she just has heartburn. Hey, where's your mask and safety goggles? Well, I, I just thought that the- No, uh... if you were thinking you would have on the proper gear. Read this. Warning, wear chemical goggles, face shield, and rubber gloves when handling this chemical. 
Warning, this product contains cancer-causing agents. And what does that tell you? That it can cause cancer. Man, I drank you under the table last night and made it in on time. You're getting soft. Man, you reek. What'd you do? Drink yourself to sleep? Something like that. Bring more coffee. Man, you better gargle some Listerine or something. I need to be in your shoes if Skinny got a whip of you. I heard my name. Man, I uh, didn't say a word. Boss? Is there something I should know about? Nope. Is there a reason why you was late today? Just a lot of traffic. Don't take me for a fool, Bruce. I know you've been drinking. I can smell you from clear across the room. And that's my problem. No, that's my problem. You can't operate any equipment. I'm a man short. And now someone is going to have to work overtime. I was just late, skinny. I can still operate the equipment. Not today you can't. You're sending me home? That's right. You're pulling rank on me? At 5 o'clock, when I clock out, we'll go and we'll shoot some hoop. But right now, I'm the man making the decisions. And you are no good to me today. Go home and sleep it off. I need this job, Skinny. I know you need this job. I didn't say anything about you losing it, but I can't keep turning a blind eye. Bruce, get yourself some help before you end up losing everything. Wait a minute, man. You shouldn't be driving. I'll tell you what. Let me clock out and I'll run you home, okay? E, I'm fine. Let's just take a second. Oh, I'll let Skinny know. Eli. <sighs> Yo, Skinny. What you guys are saying? Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna run Bruce home, okay? Uh, no, that's not okay. I'm already a man short with his absence. Come on, man. He's, he's been drinking. He shouldn't be behind the wheel. Go. Hurry up before you start driving. Scoot over, I'm driving. Oh man, it's cool. I can drive myself. I got here just fine, didn't I? Come on, man, don't be stupid. Friends don't let friends drive stupid. Okay. <laughs> You're funny. Oh man, seriously, I'm okay. Give me the keys. I'm fine. All right, be careful. Be ball at six? Definitely. Get back inside before you get docs and pay. Later. Little hair of the dog. I'm good to go.
your eyes right here on me, okay? Man, what's up here, Wilson? Only one? No, they brought the other driver in too. It smells like he's slamming a bottle of whiskey. You see far too many of these because of drunk drivers. Witnesses say she ran the red light. Give him two milligrams of Dilaudid every four hours. Okay, doctor, that's two milligrams of Dilaudid every four hours. Okay. Excuse me. Mrs. Sullivan. Excuse me, miss. What happened? Excuse me, miss. It looks like a car accident. It looks like she hit her head on the windshield. Blood pressure stable, okay, but she's just, not minute, responding. He just got here. I just got a call. Can you please help? Just tell me where he is. I understand. Just one minute. Just, sir, I'll be right with you. Seems like the left side is diminished. Sir, calm down. I'll be right with you. Just tell me where sir. he is. I received a call that from the Sir, calm down. It looks like the left side is dying. Sir, just let me. I understand. Just I'm going to take care of him. You help, Dr. Please. James. Sir, you are going to have to calm down. I, I cannot help I you unless you give him morphine, two to four milligrams every four hours as needed. Okay, so. He was in an accident. So that's two to four milligrams of morphine every four hours as needed. Where's the other driver? He's in room 201. He arrived the OA. I'll get her two milligrams of morphine. Looks like patient nine pulled her leads off again. You take care of that, I'll take care of this patient. Thank you. Mrs. Sullivan, we need to get her out of here. Mrs. Sullivan! my father. I knew he'd been drinking and I sent him home. This was not your fault. This could have happened whether he was drinking or not. What do you mean? The other driver ran a red light. Are we that incompetent? What's going on? You gave her dilaudid and morphine. Her respirations are around six. What? What happened? You read the order back to me. I don't understand. I checked it with you. I'm sorry, doctor. You'll be lucky if you have a job tomorrow. You better pray that this doesn't affect her. Give us some romazacon. What are you waiting for? Give her some Ramazacan. Um, doctor, um, don't, don't you mean Narcan? Yes, Narcan. Take care of this patient, if you're able. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, doctor.
Has the family been notified yet? Can't find any ID. Well, who was the man that was in here earlier? How did he know about the accident? One of the EMTs saw the company logo on his shirt and they called from the road. So call the company again. He can't. They took off his shirt. We don't know where he is and the guy left. <sighs> You're kidding. Uh, can I, uh, speak to you for a second? Sure. I, um, I want to apologize for my actions earlier. You, you're both good nurses. You don't have to say that. No, I do. Um, like I said, you're very capable, and uh, I'm sorry for the way I treated you and for what I said. Oh, hey, look. He's got a cell phone. And he knows about ICE. You might as well call it. It's my son. Hello? It's been said, we're only six people away from knowing everyone. This statement does not do justice to the idea. Our lives are so intertwined. The choices we make the errors that happen. Connect us all together. about to start driving. Do you mind if I call you when I get home? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> 